As we looked at in a previous video, you can get an absolutely beautiful micro four thirds body, very capable for very little outlay. 215 got me this 4K IBIS, beautiful little shooter. Now, what do you do if you're on a budget and all you can get your hands on are charity shop budget hand-me-down lenses? Well, we've got a bunch of them here. We're gonna take a look at the easy way to use them with your micro four thirds. So let's crack on and see if we can do this <laughs> as simple as possible. Let's just say you've gone dogging around a charity shop, you found one of these lenses or you found this Nikon Series E 50mm, remember on your micro four thirds that doubles up effectively to a full frame equivalent of basically 100mm. Look at the size of that, brilliant. So you know it's a Nikon mount or a Pentax or an M42 or whatever mount, then you need the correct adapters. The fine folk at Gobi have very kindly sent us these adapters. If you've been following the channel, you know that I've used another brand, I'm um, a Fuji gear and well, I'm not a brand snob and these guys were super friendly, reached out and sent them. So we've got the F-mount to M43 there. We've got this, M39, we've got the M42 right there, and of course Pentax K. Now these are dumb adapters, so as you'll see, metal, no electronic contacts, really well built, but very simple. Line up the dots if it has dots, or if you're a bit of a crazy person just slowly do it there I wouldn't recommend that then get the red dot line it up with the red dot on your camera and it's in once you switch on you'll see on the menu a current focal length setting 50 mil if you're not using a 50 mil lens you might want to change that as I already have it set it's set there it will then work better with the image stabilization and it'll show up in your exif if you're not interested in ibis or it showing up in your exif you can just skip it if that annoys you every time it comes on just a light press of the shutter a half press will get that away there's a couple of things that you want to do to get the most out of it set it into manual then go into your menu right down to shoot without lens which in my case is in nine shoot without lens make sure that's on and then you'll be able to well shoot a lot of people have asked online why they can't now the cool thing with this camera if you try to shoot without that set it'll tell you what to do our fujis don't do that so that's a pretty cool thing another thumbs up so make sure shoot without lens is set to on and then also what i like in menu four peaking now you can set that to high and low and you can change the color to whatever suits i'm currently on a bit of a bluish what well whatever that is kick <laughs> as i throw it into focus it's flickering blue now the cool thing with this camera if i double click there it'll zoom right in to the middle so i can fine tune you see out and now it's in on the lettering you see crystal gale right there and the blue or whatever it is is flickering around that is very handy so out of focus nothing pull it in what it's really showing are the edges uh it's kind of not really focus but it is the focus point but if you've got a subject with letters or eyeballs or something like that where your focus point really could well be that's a good place to set it that's basically it really get yourself a nice cheapo lens this pentacon 33.5 cost me a fiver so screw mount there get the right adapter to fit it to your micro four thirds in this case these beautiful ones from gobi are doing a treat for me we'll leave a link to those below make sure you've set shoot without lens take advantage of peaking and then you might find that you'll start off at around f8 so it's a little bit clearer and then if you want to shoot wide open you can throw it wide open or stop down you you know it's flexible but you might find you have to stop down first 
to something decent so you can see what's going on a little bit clearer depending on the subject the lighting conditions that's a whole different lesson but yeah pretty cool and there's a whole bunch of options out there frankly i mean i do love my smc pentax here's a 200 mil takuma takuma sorry we've got a tamron b bar 200 mil f 3.5 five there the 51.7 that we looked at before the 135 this is one that you would have noticed if you've been looking at budget vintage lenses for a while the helios 44 58 mil f2 44 2 arguably fractionally better but this one cheaper easy to get your hands on if you get the 44 2 let us know in the comments below how you feel about it especially this one not so well known these days vivitar miranda 28 mils i was really after i don't know why i ended up with two 28 mils another pentacon absolute solid tank now try and get a 200 mil or 400 mil full frame equivalent lens for your micro four thirds with all the mud cons that's probably not even built this solely but yeah it probably has autofocus etc etc compare that to the price of whatever i paid for this i don't know 15 20 pounds great bit of fun i don't normally mess about with zooms when it comes to vintage stuff especially but this little beat up rmc takina 72 10 f4 decent little player top it off with a sprinkling of coolness from australia i think in this case and we've got a nice bundle of fun that barely costs a thing camera 215 adapters what 20 quid or so lenses anything from free to 20 30 40 pounds you're on to a winner let us know in the comments below how you have fared with vintage lenses at the budget end with your micro four thirds if there's anything that you would recommend us that we should take a look at that we should look out for let's not boost the prices up on the cool stuff but you know feel free to let out one of your little tips tricks secrets you know we're not going to flood the market too bad <laughs> this is just budget random stuff and hopefully it gives you a clue how to use it with your micro four thirds subscribe let us know how you get on below take it easy